Oh my God. Girls here just wear whatever tight, skimpy, indecent clothes they want? Yeah, it'll take some getting used to. I'm not in private school anymore. And they actually go to classes with guys who can just ogle them? That's kind of the point, babe. Oh, it's the most depraved thing I've ever seen. And I'm stuck here for three whole months on a stupid science exchange? Yep. <sighs> That's awesome. But Jake, how could you let me leave the house in my uniform? I'm gonna be labeled a social reject on my first day. I thought you were just doing the Britney Spears thing. Which, by the way, is really hot. I mean, it would be for straight guys. Straight guys? Oh my god, are you gay? I don't know any gay people where I come from. Yeah, welcome to the real world. <sighs> okay, I've got a question for you. Like, uh, when did I find out? Have I told my parents? No, like, how do you get any work done with all the cute guys here? Well, rein in those stampeding hormones. You're on a science exchange program, remember? What? It's a scientific fact. Guys here are hot. Hotter than my cousin, Hunter? Jake, Hunter's the only guy for me. Not only do we have everything in common, but he's my mixed doubles partner in badminton. Just be careful. You've just entered the jungle, and there are a lot of tigers, not to mention horny toads that'll be chasing after you. I promise Hunter that because my parents are sponsoring you here that I keep an eye on you, but I can't be there at all times. <laughs> Melodramatic much? I don't need a bodyguard. Just because I went to an all-girls school doesn't mean I can't take care of myself. I don't know. The guys here are pretty experienced. They can be real dogs. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I promise I won't pick up any strays. Are you okay? Oh. Uh, yeah. Thanks. You're new, right? How could you tell? Oh. Great. How could I forget? Kind of totally stand out. Well, I think you stand out in a good way. You do? Yeah. By the way, I'm Dominic. Isabel. I'm here on a science exchange. Your school's rated top for chemistry. Hey, I take chemistry too. I could give you some class notes, you know, help you get up to speed. I could even help you study. You no. Know, I was warned about the guys here, that they're just dogs trying to make time with girls. But you're so nice. Yeah. You wouldn't believe some of the dudes here. You're right to stay away from them. Good thing I'm not one of them. Mm -hmm. Especially since we're practically locker buddies. So um, why don't you bring your notes so we can study at my house tonight? Sure. How rude you're being. Dominic has been really nice to offer to help. Have you already forgotten about the little talk we had about the boys at school? Roar, roar, roar. Does this Shh. ring a bell? You. I leave you alone for just a few minutes at school, and already you're letting a pit bull into your room. Dominic is not a pit bull. If the collar fits, you're lucky I was here tonight. You need your own personal dog catcher. Why are you getting so worked up? I'm just meeting new people, letting loose like you said to do earlier. I never meant for you to loosen up this way. OK, well, I invited Dominic over to study, and that's what we're going to do. That's all I want to do. I've got a boyfriend. That may be all you want to do, but what about him? <laughs> Let's see if he still just wants to study after he meets your boyfriend. Sorry I was so rude, Dominic. You know how jealous boyfriends can get. Whoa, uh, I didn't know. Yep, Isabel's my girl and we're uh, totally in love. Yeah, we are. Wow, after just one day of living together. Yeah, it, it did kind of take us both by surprise, but we just can't keep our hands off each other. <laughs> Call him the octopus. <laughs> He's a real animal. Rawr. <laughs> 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 But don't let me get in the way of your uh, studying. Well, uh, I didn't mean to get in the middle. I guess I'll uh, see you at school a little. Well, you don't have to go. Okay, so you were right. He is interested in more than just studying. But how he bought your boyfriend act, I will never know. What? I thought I played the perfect boyfriend. Okay, I sucked. But, but the important thing is he's gone for now. You think he'll come back? Yeah, that's why I can tell you and me are going to be dating for a long time. Dominic. Oh, hi, Isabel. You're not avoiding me, are you? Oh, no. I just couldn't see you past my balls. Good. Just because I have a boyfriend doesn't mean we can't say hi. Yeah, we can say hi. Gets me in less trouble than saying I think you're really cute. You do? I thought it was totally obvious. Oh, yeah, I totally picked up on it. You'd have to be really gullible not to. But we could still be friends, right? Friends? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd love that. Good. Well, see ya. Hey, now since we're friends, maybe you want to come help me put away my balls. I'm so glad we could do this stuff together as friends. Yeah? You're actually the first friend I've made here. Well, other than Jake. Uh, I am so sorry. 
Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. I barely felt it. You sure? Maybe I should have a look at it. No. Ow! Oh, yeah, actually, that was quite a blow. Maybe you should take your shirt off. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad we could do this stuff together as friends. Yeah, it's awesome. I love a friendly massage. What could be friendlier? I gotta get to class. Yeah. You were so right about protecting me from Dominic. The pit bull? I thought he'd been fixed. But I can't stop thinking about him. I just want to rip off all his clothes. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Uh, nothing. It's all very friendly. Very, very friendly. But what am I going to do? What would you do if you were me? Well, if there was a guy that turned me on, I couldn't have. Simple. I would just, uh, masturbate. Don't say that so loud. It's the guilt-free way to relieve sexual tension. I just couldn't do it, no matter how guilty I feel. Why? There's nothing wrong with it. What I mean is, I don't know how to do it. What? Holding onto the shower head and moving it around? Yeah, I don't feel anything yet. Move it lower. I don't... Okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Now, direct it mm -hmm. and rotate that dial. It has an 18-speed massaging pulse. Oh. Exactly what Julie wanted for her birthday. Oh. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> now rotate it all the way to the left for maximum speed. Oh, my God! I guess you found it. You, you can go now. You don't need to thank me again. No, it's about Dominic. I, I feel more guilty than ever. What did you do? You haven't seen him since I left you in the bathroom. No, I didn't see him in person. I saw him in my head while I was showering. You mean you fantasize about him? I should have been thinking about Hunter. Honey, no one ever thinks about their partner while they're showering. It's not cheating if it's in your mind. Still, I feel kind of dirty. Then you were doing it right. Just because you fantasize about someone doesn't mean you really want to sleep with them. Really? Yeah, I think of all sorts of guys other than my boyfriend when I'm polishing the silverware. You do. You're not allowed to think about any other guy but me. Okay, okay. But what about... Yes, even the lead singer of Boys For You. Oh, uh, okay, I'll do it. But then you have to, too. You know, maybe I'm being a little too close-minded. <laughs> Oh, hello. Yeah, I rang the doorbell, but no one answered. Really should get that fixed. Oh. Isabel? Oh. You know, I thought that since we were friends, we could try that studying thing again. Oh, my God. We've got to talk. Look, this is really hard for me to say, but here goes. I came by your house last night. What? I didn't see you. Yeah, no one answered the door, so I let myself in and... And what? Spit it out. While you were in the shower, I saw something I shouldn't have. What I was doing in the shower is totally normal. What? I Why didn't... do you think the shower head is detachable and it has all those what different settings? What are you talking about? I'm talking about... What are you talking about? I'm talking about your boyfriend, Jake. You are? He's cheating on you. With a guy. Oh, that. I mean, oh my god. Jake with a guy? No! Oh. <laughs> oh, what were they doing? Is it this? Uh, no, that's not cheating. Well, what could they have been doing then? You are the hottest. Oh, and you with your sexy t-shirt. <laughs> so anti-establishment. I got it at the mall. <laughs> I've got two deep four masks with our names on. Isabel, you're cheating on me. You want to break up with me? What are you doing? Just playing along with your act. I mean, what were you doing in there with Dominic? Well, he was only consoling me because you're such a bad boyfriend. Apparently, you're gay. Well, I want to break up with you! Okay, 
Dominic, I have something to tell you. Why didn't you tell me that you hadn't broken up with Jake yet? Yeah, let me just start from the beginning. And we were fooling around. That's so not cool. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. I've been the other guy before, and I never want to do it again. I know, and I feel really bad, okay? But I really need to tell you something. But you've broken up with Jake now. Y yeah, but... So, now there's no reason we can't be together. What are you studying? Male anatomy. Is that a men's fitness magazine? I'm just uh, welcoming <laughs> some new clientele into my fantasy bank. Let me see. I like this one. It's good material for the spin cycle. Does Hunter know that my washing machine is pleasuring you more than he ever did? <laughs> hey, you're in a good mood considering last night. I still feel sort of guilty. Well, you should. But at least you broke it off with Dominic before it got too hot and heavy. Actually, I didn't. We made it out instead. What? You can't do that. You have a boyfriend. There are rules, even here. In the three days I've been here, I've learned one thing. What's that? Screw the rules. Hey. Thank God you cleared up that whole mess with Jake. Huh? Well, it really freaked me out that we were fooling around before you two had officially broken up. But now that you're free, I was thinking that maybe... I'd like to be your girlfriend. Yeah. There's nothing that would make me happier. Oh, not Hunter. Who's Hunter? My cousin. She is so boring. She just calls me all the time. Yak, 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 yak. Anyways, where were we? Deciding that I was going to come over to your place tonight and celebrate our good news. What's wrong with right now? You sure no one's gonna walk in on us? No, I know all the team schedules by heart. But listen, we don't have to do it right now if you're freaked out. No, I want to. I don't care if anybody comes in. Who cares about them? I hope they do. So, big sports fan, have you ever done it in here before? Yeah, I have. You have? Oh, that's so hot. I never knew you were such a <laughs> wild man, such a rule breaker. No, I don't really think of myself as a rule breaker. Well. That's gonna change. So we're gonna break some rules right now. Now I know why private school girls have such a sexy rap. Don't think of me as some dorky private school girl. I'm a completely different person now. Uh, it's nice to meet you then, Isabel. Or is that still your name? You're funny. I think I'll keep you. Nice catch. So, um, what position do you play? Third base. My favorite. I feel like I can tell you anything and you'd totally understand. Like, this isn't my real hair color. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, I wear color contacts. <laughs> really? Okay. Hunter's not my cousin. He's my boyfriend. What? Soon to be ex-boyfriend. Hunter a secret from you and you would have never known. You keeping him a secret guaranteed we can never have a future. How am I supposed to ever trust you? Because I'm telling you the truth now. It isn't easy, you know. You think it's easy for me? I thought I had a new girlfriend I really liked. You still do. You can't like me one second and not the next. Oh yeah? Watch me. Later, Isabel.